What's something small you can start doing today to better yourself? Cleaning your surroundings. Every time I've gotten out of my deepest state of depression it started with doing the dishes or laundry. It's really remarkable how much a clean floor and freshly laundered sheets can improve your state of mind. I am not a messy person and I keep my stuff clean but I simply don't get that. I clean my flat because it has to be done but it does nothing for me when I finish doing it. My wife is different, even putting fresh sheets on the bed gets her all happy. It's because you keep your stuff clean. You never, or at least infrequently, get to the point where things are severely messy enough to affect your mood. You're better at cleaning keeping up with it than a bunch of people, and sometimes when someone worse at cleaning gets a messy living space, it makes them feel more lethargic and depressed, snowballing the effect as the living space gets worse. For these people, deciding to clean the house is a much more significant event and will cause a more significant change in mood. In regards to your wife, some people just legitimately enjoy the act of cleaning itself and get more out of having a freshly cleaned area. Thank you for saying this, this is me. I struggle with severe depression and anxiety, and my room and quite frankly my whole apartment, is a mess. It makes me more depressed but it's hard for me to do anything about it. I'm so ducking tired all the time. When I plan to do cleaning, I still end up taking a 4 hour depression nap bc I'm so fucking tired and depressed. And then I wake up and feel worse when I see I didn't get anything done. I cleaned my room for the first time in 6 months yesterday and honestly a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders and I feel so much happier. 1010 would recommend. I start every day by making our bed. It sounds like a dumb little thing that your mom would tell you to do just because, but it's a little routine that just resets one thing. And makes it easier to fall into bed if you don't have to sort out covers at night. Every day I wake up, make my bed, and tidy up my room a bit before getting breakfast and coffee, it takes like 5 minutes but by the time I'm done I'm already a lot more awake and it makes my mornings a million times better. Mornings still suck though. Donating throwing out selling old stuff you no longer use. Also, cleaning out your fridge. Just cleaned out my fridge, turns out I had 5 jars of pickles and no real food. Also, lots and lots of sauce. We've all been there. We have all been in Utten Karayan's fridge. No wonder it was a mess. Edit, cake is in the fridge. So that's where I left the bacon ranch dressing. Allocate time more directly to maintenance of my body and home, I lost 100 pounds this year. All due to diet. I could be a lot healthier if I added 30 minutes of exercise. Then there's my house, after I lost my wife I had a lot of trouble motivating myself to clean and now certain rooms are really needing it. If I could allocate even just an hour a day to it I would eventually be able to get back to regular maintenance rather than feeling helpless every time I open the door to one of those rooms. Lastly, reading. I desperately want to get back into it and I've succeeded a couple times and loved it. But college broke my spirit of habitual reading and I'm not sure how to get it back. An hour is a lot. Start with 15 minutes. Not more, even if you think you are in the flow to do more. Just 15 minutes every day. That way you learn that using just a few minutes has a lot of impact. Set a date in your calendar for those 15 minutes. For example, right after you come home so you don't have to get up to do that. Edit, I'd like to elaborate on why you shouldn't do more than those 15 minutes. If you find yourself doing 2 hours then the next time you face the problem you will think it is going to take 2 hours and don't start it. I trick myself into cleaning by turning on some dancey music and see how much I can get done by the end of the song. Sometimes it turns into a few songs. I get some duck and work done in the kitchen sink when that tame Impala comes on. Do you just let it happen? Drink more water. Less soda. Making the habit to show gratitude for the small things in life. That alone is one of the best things you can do for yourself. Kirsch's got, I don't think I spelled it right, made a video about it. You almost got it right, I'm impressed, it's written Kirschjesicht. Every time I write it I spell it differently, and I never get it right. Kurs briefly, brief, short NBSP, sagging to say, in the infinitive form, NBSP, Gazak said, in the past tense, can be seen as GE, sag, T, like, the GE and the T can be seen as the ed of German, for example stayed, played, etc., the sag comes from sagen. 
which means said briefly, or in a nutshell, which, as I recall, is used in their videos edit, why the duck did this comment get silver. Oral hygiene. Gotta be more consistent when it comes to flossing. Go for a walk, even just a short one. I was diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome a few years ago and I could barely get out of bed but I forced myself to walk first to my mailbox, then the end of my street and beyond. It may not seem like much but I promise it can make a huge difference. Edit, this has inspired lots of conversation which is amazing. Just wanted to add that while walking was a turning point for me in my recovery, but not the only thing, and am very lucky that it helped, it won't be appropriate for everyone. This original comment wasn't specifically directed at the CFS community though and more as a general tip to everyone. There are so many benefits to walking that I have experienced, not just physically but I've noticed a change in my mood and emotional well-being too so for all those that are able I highly recommend you give it a go. Eating right, exercising more, and drinking a lot more water. I've been working out consistently, 56 days a week, for 3 months because of something my roommate told me, Work out for at least 30 minutes a week then eventually you'll build a habit and start going for longer. People often stop eating right or working out because they want quick results but it takes a lot of time, patience, and smart choices. Did you get good results after working out for 3 months? I'm not the same guy but I know from experience that you can get amazing results in 3 months. How far you get specifically depends on your goals but for weight loss, muscle building, strength and flexibility a lot can be achieved in 3 months. I went worked out for 5 to 6 days a week the past 3 weeks and I feel better and it just feels like a habit now. Feeling like going to the gym after work without dreading it is extremely rewarding all on its own. I'm excited to see how the next few months go. Start thinking in long term, say, 5 years, medium term, say, a month to 6 months, and short term strategies, say, one day to a week. You can break the long-term plan down into medium-term plans, and the medium-term plans into short-term plans. What do you need to be doing today to get you to where you want to be next week? Next month? Next year? Once you've got that in mind, and you get into the habit of taking manageable bites out of your life goals, it becomes a lot easier to achieve what you want. The advice I always give relates to writing a novel. A novel is 90,000 words, give or take. If you write 250 words a day, every day, you'll have the first draft of that book you've had rattling around inside your head on paper by the end of 2020. If that seems daunting. Well, this comment is 210 words long. It took me less than 5 minutes to type up, and I'm only, what, 40 words away from being on target. How many Reddit comments do you write in a day? How many Facebook updates? How many tweets? A little amount of sustained effort is, usually, the best way to get where you want to be. Start doing the rule of 5 if it takes less than 5 minutes to do a task when you see something, and you're not already mid-task, just get it done. You'll get your chore list cracked out a lot faster if you just clean the counters as you go around the house doing other stuff. Edit, thanks for the silver, kind stranger. Glad to be of help, D. Be actively kind to yourself. What did you do Tota that was great? Cherish it. On the other hand, when you're good at being kind to you. Take the next step. What did you do today that you want to do differently tomorrow next time? Start writing your goals every day and start checking them off whenever you complete them. All my to-do lists start with make to-do lists so I can cross that off immediately and feel good about myself. Damn straight. Always put something on the list you can cross off, even if you did it earlier. If you're sitting on a couch, desk chair, or lying down, and you get up to go to the bathroom or kitchen, Take something with you. The two empty water bottles near your bedside, or the dirty dish on your coffee table. Knock out two birds with one stone at it, holy moly. My first silver. After six years of being a Redditor. If you're going north, take something that belongs north with you.